Hey, what's going on everybody? Boylon here back for another video on Marvel Strike Force here today on Wednesday. There was some huge things that just happened just before the store reset. We had that switch was flipped and we got some pretty crazy stuff in game. We got the Moon Dragon and Doctor Strange stat reworks, but not the kits reworked. It's not in here, but they do have, you can, you can see it on my screen. They jumped significantly. In fact, I actually have some photos I'll, I'll show in a bit here of what my characters look like before my my whole uh heart page at the top they also seem to have increased the stats on hella uh iron man zombie and uh zugs where who is not on the screen for some reason and in even bigger we do have now null in the roster screen here at a four star unlock now he does not have his kit available here you might have seen my video from earlier on this morning which at least includes the enemy version of the kit but now we can see the model and at least we can stare at him right and looks looks cool right but we don't really know anything other than you know this stuff here so speed of 125 that's something right so that's something that i i didn't know about before and otherwise there's nothing else to glean out of this there's no traits on this uh so there's not a lot here but the fact that he's a four star unlock is quite interesting some people in the comment section uh, said that maybe he would be a seven star unlock, but it appears that he is not. Also, we do have Scarlet Witch Zombie who has been added to the roster screen and she's actually a two star unlock. So uh, my apologies, I guess, for the rumors that I had heard about that maybe she was going to be a four star paid unlock. That seems to be not the case, which actually is a good thing for the player base because this seems to suggest she might actually get a sort of regular uh, free to play unlockable version of the event when it comes live maybe in a week or two and speaking of events we have some huge 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 data mines as well talking about the hunger and the thirst which is going to be starting next week there is the next week's event called zombie invasion so i want to prepare you for all of that so there's just tons of stuff here to go on so let's finally boil this down Okay, I, 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 before we get into the event stuff, though, I do want to take a look at Moondragon and Doctor Strange a little bit more. So, uh, the kit is not changed. There's no changes to the kit. She doesn't, they also don't have the astral tag on them. So, I, I this might have been a mistake, honestly, for uh, their stuff to come out so soon. It makes no sense, right? Because we're probably at least another two weeks, maybe, before the astral first astral character comes out. So whether that's ancient, ancient one or Emma Frost, I don't know. But still, this seems a bit strange that they would do this. 8.4 million health. Holy shit. Uh, and then the damage and then the armor, all the stats here. So that is just crazy. So I want to take this to 2D max G9. I want to take this stats, though. Let's remember that 8.4 million. I want to compare that to like Scientist Supreme, I guess. I have a two diamond on her as well. Okay, so she actually has less uh, than our Moon Dragon has less than Scientist Supreme. They're both G nineteen. Although this is purple ISO, Moon Dragon doesn't have purple ISO, so I'll give her I'll give her that. But still, those are some pretty insane stats. They're more or less on par. You know, like those are pretty high numbers. If I put uh, purple healer three on Moon Dragon, she'd probably be pretty high up there as well. Doctor Strange has less power. They're both um they're both blue five. Actually, there's quite a bit less. I might have to do with the kit though. But Doctor Strange has about 7.4 million health now. <laughs> so you might see some usage, you know, where you might have used these before. In Infinity Watch for now, uh, for Moon Dragon, and <laughs> who knows, maybe Moon Dragon's going to go around one-shotting people with her ultimate. I don't know. That's some pretty crazy <laughs> stat changes with the diamonds if you happen to have them. And uh, Doctor Strange here with the damage. with Maybe Winds of a Tomb is just going to wipe people out because this does like 230% piercing. Which isn't a lot, but given the fact that his damage numbers and his stats are so high, this is going to be a pretty interesting inclusion because I'm going to now uh, chuck him in probably with one of my defenses for Secret Defenders, and this actually might elevate the team dramatically. So we'll have to see. There might be some value in doing this now a little bit early if they keep it this way. I do want to say that this was probably not intended because, again, the astral reworks and stuff like that is not for some time. I would assume at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks before this appears. 
So some pretty crazy stuff here. You might have also seen uh, some stuff related to Captain Britain, at least in uh, the Envoy's early blog release this morning that talks about Captain Britain and his increased availability in his shards. So there's going to be a battle pass and a strike pass in the middle of November. And there's also going to be a rerun of the uh, showcase, the Illuminati showcase, which is going to contain some shards for him as well. Now, how much shards free to play are going to get? There was no guarantee of an unlock, at least from the showcase rerun. So I don't know. Um, I know that like over the course of the next month or so, they, there will be a free to play unlock. But as far as how far you'll be able to get, I'm not sure. So whether or not you want to continue coring your store or not for that, that's entirely up to you. I know it is quite expensive and his drop rate or his appearance rate is not very good. So do take that with a grain of salt. Also, the fact that he does have a RTA and strike pass means that there may be red stars within that down the line. So you may want to hold off from buying any red stars from Captain Britain because it may appear, especially if you're someone who buys passes. So do keep that in mind for next month. Okay, so uh, let's talk about Undying because that's going to be the next thing. And I'm wondering uh, where their stat. So Hella didn't really see a huge jump. I want to show you, this is my Undying here. I want to show you a photo that I took. This was before uh, the switch got flipped because I, I took a screenshot of the top of my roster. And you can see here that Moondragon was a 600. So this was a huge jump. They got like, what, 300k a piece. And then Hella went from, from 452 to 480 so not a huge one this is g18 hella with two diamond zombie iron man was 250 before and now is at 260 only level 90 though and then zugs with no reds 154 uh from 146 so not a huge improvement on the undying side of things for the stats um but you know it does elevate them a little bit more and uh zombie scarlet witch i actually want to see is zombie scarlet witch in the stats table yet that's and there was the blog for Captain Britain, actually. So I don't know if it's going to load properly just yet or if it's going to sh it's probably still updating, honestly, because I'm doing this at like 209. So this is right around when they're probably adjusting the website. So I, oh, no, maybe there it is. There is Zombie Scarlet Witch in here. She is. OK, so let's see where Zombie Scarlet Witch actually stacks up in terms of the stats, because we didn't actually know that until now. So Zombie Scarlet Witch. 4.4 million hit points. She's number 21 in health. So that's not bad. She's not really a tank anyways. Uh, but as far as new characters go, it's a little bit below gore. So keep that in mind there. Uh, damage wise for zombie Scarlet Witch. Wow. Oh, 19. Okay, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> that was at the top. Okay, so 19th place for zombie Scarlet Witch. Tying with it's, it's ahead of characters like Mephisto. So that's pretty interesting as well. Granted, this is so the actual number doesn't count. It doesn't really matter. It's the ranking that I care about the most. Uh, Zombie Scarlet Witch is 25th in armor uh, focus. She is 28th in focus. And then in resist, she's 26th on resist. So her stats overall are not as impressive as some of the new characters that have been coming out. It is not bad. It, you know, it seems that she, she's, she's broadly on par with gore. But, you know, she's not as strong as like some of the newer characters go. Her ranking is still a bit on the lower side. It's not like she's not super oppressive. It's not like 10 uh, over 10, 10th place on all of them. So uh, it's OK. It's OK, I guess. It's not it's not that bad. But of course, the stars are going to be super locked, right? We know that despite her being a two star unlock, we know that she is not going to be an easy unlock. And there's going to be some definitely paid element if you want to raise her up any higher. So do take this with a grain of salt. It is probably going to be an insanely good war offense team. There might even be some crucible applicability here, but keep in mind that the undying team in general, at least for the zombies have been typically a sort of paid kind of team. And even the ones that are available, you do need uh, dark promotion credits to upgrade their red stars. As far as the juggernaut zombie one goes. So PS, there is going to be an RTA pass next Monday for zombie juggernauts. I, I have, I assume that probably there's going to be some red stars in there too. So if you are someone who buys passes, probably wait until Monday so that you can get a check on that and see what's going on with reds, because I am not going to go and buy his reds ahead of time just in case. And we'll find out more specifically about the Scarlet Witch Zombie event, which is not next week, but I at least I don't think it is. But I want to touch on that because I do have the data mines over here, and this is going to be really important. So we do have the zombie invasion milestone. Can I zoom in? 
one more maybe it's a little bit clearer so zombie invasion milestone this is the main event milestone for next monday so gain progress in this seven day event by playing raids with the night stalkers team spending dead of night showcase energy and power cores completing the sugar rush web event we know that and then earning zombie hunter orb fragments from the hunger and thirst challenges these are going to be mini events that are going to be running starting next week free claims and special offers earn fantastic rewards blah blah blah, blah purple iso stuff and like that dark promotion credits skill gear and there's going to be diamonds for man thing i believe in the lead so this is a leaderboard event ps by the way uh the zombie hunter orb contains select character shards doesn't actually specify or at least i don't think it does uh gold and training modules and crimson gear uh diamond claws leaderboard climb the leaderboard for a chance to earn man thing diamonds sugar rush web mouse and we already know that that's just spending candy in the store points for this include spending dead of night energy uh, that's the showcase earn one zombie hunter orb fragment from the hunger and the thirst challenge which i have more details of down below use night stalker characters in raids and you get bonus points for five six seven yellow blade oath and man thing so not gear tier this time they are bringing back uh the bonus points for yellow stars and then actually what's interesting this could be subject to change because I've seen this in data mines before uh, and this got pulled out. But for now, it does say spend power course. So that's interesting. So if you are looking into, well, uh, you're doing anything, I suppose, with your power course that you'll get more value of it next week. Subject to change, though, whether or not this remains here by Friday's blog post, we'll see. Uh, so let's talk about the hunger and the thirst events, because I do have some details around that as well. So zombie the hunger. Battle with the Undying Team for Brains with Unique Abilities. Hunger Without End. Start with 10 Brains and Defeat Enemies Eating... Uh, de sorry, and Defeat Enemies Eating to Satiate Your Hunger. That's That seems like bad English. But anyways, <laughs> Hunger A plus 20% speed and minus 8% damage per stack. So this is like a buff, I guess, or... Uh, yeah, I guess it's a buff. Satiated plus 20% damage. 10% crit chance and 10% crit damage per stack. Eat your fill at 20 brains and become lethargic for a turn and gain undead fortitude, which gives 50% damage resistance till the end of combat. So this seems to be some sort of mini event where you're using your undying team. They get buffs and you need to probably just kill things, right? I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is, but it's using your undying team, which means that they want you to upgrade your undying team. And then which this is going to feed into, you know, you're, there's probably some nodes to clear and you're going to get uh, zombie hunter orb fragments. And that's going to funnel back into the leaderboard for this zombie invasion <laughs> event. So it's going to be a pretty competitive leaderboard because not everyone has the undying team built up or wants to build them. Right. So that's going to be interesting. Vampire the thirst battle with the night stalkers. So this is good because I thought like I was wondering whether or not I have to like level up Morbius or something like that. You don't have to. So battle with the night stalkers to protect civilians from vampires and their familiars now we know where those vampire minions are going to be so vampire minions have the following abilities those are the five portraits you might have seen me in a past data mine video from like a month ago when that was in oh here it is ritual of the blood god at the start of their turn civilians have a 50 percent chance to gain one bleed if they had already had at least one bleed they also gain taunt so it seems like you just have to kill the enemies before they kill the civilian units thirst eternal vampire minions heal 50% of their max HP when attacking bleeding enemies. If their HP is full, they instead gain one death proof, three offense up, three defense up, and safeguard. If a vampire minion kills a civilian, they also gain a full speed bar. So some pretty interesting mechanics for these two mini events that are going to be coming back around. I imagine it is going to be uh, kind of like a showcase thing. I don't know if it's going to have energy or if it's just going to be like um, you know, a one-time clear. You know, and you're going to get uh, the zombie hunter orb fragments for clearing, you know, a variety of these nodes. Maybe it's just one battle each. I I'm not entirely sure what that's going to be. But this is uh, what I got from the data mines here to share with you guys. Uh, some other last minute things. There is appears to be the DD8 celebration gift with Gladiator. A lot of people were asking about that. It appears that it's probably coming next week because usually the data mines represent things that are coming out about a week in advance. So again, huge stuff on zombie invasion and then some new player, another milestone called battle world readiness. Now there is lots of other data mines as well that I haven't quite got to yet. I wanted to get this event stuff out with the new updates on the roster screen because this is stuff that I could do easily on. 
There is a handful of other things that are in the files that I may do an additional video on as I start checking through it and seeing what's in there, if there's anything worth talking about, but I don't like making huge 30 minute long videos. So some huge things, Zar Scar Zarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch Zombie, 45 shards, null into the roster screen. Um, interesting, interesting things. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Don't forget to trial out Moon Dragon and Doctor Strange because that's some crazy stats, and I'd be interested to see uh, what, I guess Cosmic Crucible is pretty much done, unfortunately. So um, maybe on the weekend, if the stats change, uh, stats stay the same, you know, maybe we'll get some see some early uses of Doctor Strange. So some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, that's the end of the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Boylan signing out.